Well, here's everything you need. You need five pound pork. You use the rotisserie. <laughs> Welcome back to Live from the Camper House Edition. My name's Tony, and today we're going to take a mesquite barbecue pork loin. We're going to use the rotisserie feature in our Insta Vortex, and we're going to make a whole bunch of deliciousness. It's super easy to make. So, are you ready? Good, let's get cooking. Now, it doesn't get any easier than this. Go to the store, get a 1.5 pound pork tenderloin, any flavor you want. I'm going with the mesquite barbecue. That just sounded good at the time. I'm gonna use my rotisserie spit and forks. I know people said, hey, use your basket, it works better. Well, this is a little bit too long for the basket. I don't wanna smush it down in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the rotisserie spit and fork. Now grab a piece of tin foil, put it over your work surface. Makes for easier cleanup. And let's get it out of its package. Now in your rotisserie spit, you have these little notches in here. See the little notches? That's where you're gonna put the pin into that holds it in place. Get one side on and just push it through the pork tenderloin, just like that. Make sure the forks go all the way in as well. Now, whoops. Don't worry if that happens. Just pull it out and push it back in again. Make sure the fork's all the way in. Now, as I learned with that rotisserie chicken, hold it up like this, push it down a little bit, and let's put this on. This can be a little pain too, because you gotta wiggle it on, but make sure, again, you get it right in that notch. All right, line it up, lock it down. Now, let's jump back over, see how the fork's sticking out. Let's push it down again, so it all goes into that fork. That's what helps rotate it in the rotisserie. Boom, there it is. Now let's go wash our hands. Ew. Now let's go ahead and preheat the vortex. We're gonna roast at 360 degrees for 45 minutes. And as you can see, I wrapped the drip tray with a little tin foil as well. That makes cleanup a breeze. You just pull it off and throw it away. All right, so the vortex said add food. So grab your handy dandy fetch and let's put that loin in the rotisserie. All right, grab your tenderloin, make sure you put it on the rack, push the little red button over, and let's slide it right on in there. Well, after cooking for 30 minutes, I checked the temperature and it was 160 degrees. So boom, I stopped it right there. Remember, you want a minimum of 145 degrees. Mine was 160. It's done, 30 minutes, just like that. So now I'm gonna leave it in the vortex for a couple minutes just to rest and then we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna slice it up and we're gonna eat it. All right, go ahead and push the little red lever over. Grab your fetch and take it out. All right, be careful because it's still a little hot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew the screw here. You don't have to take it all the way out, but I'm going to. And then we're gonna take this fork out. Just like that. Now at this side, we can just push the loin off. slice into this bad boy. Oh, that looks perfect. I can't believe that only took 30 minutes in the rotisserie. You know how long it takes in the oven to get something that tender and juicy and cooked all the way through? It's at least an hour, an hour and a half. In 30 minutes, man, this machine's amazing. All right, one thing left to do. Let's give it a try. It smells good. It looks good. Oh man, it tastes good. Mmm. 
super juicy and tender on the inside. Nice little crust on the outside. That mesquite barbecue tastes amazing. Mmm. Well, I got one question for you guys. Are you hungry? Mmm, good. Let's eat. Mmm.